When you're building a workflow, there are six different actions for sending content. Each action works a little differently and requires different information based on the settings you choose. The most important thing to know is that you should choose the specific action for the specific type of content you want to send. For example, if you want to send an appointment scheduler, use the send appointment scheduler action. The instructions you need to fill out will change depending on the action and options you choose. A good rule of thumb is to always fill out everything you see from top to bottom so you don't run into any errors down the road. Inside some of these actions, your only option will be to send the content in an email to the client. Inside other actions, specifically send contract, send form, and send appointment scheduler, you'll have three options for how you want the content to be sent. The common choice is to email the client a link to the content and apply it to their client portal simultaneously. You'll select the appropriate canned email from the dropdown. Just be sure that the email includes a smart field link somewhere for the specific type of content you're sending. The placement of the smart field link is where the button will go that links to the content in your email. Another option is to apply the content to Portal without sending an email. This might make sense for you if you want the workflow to upload multiple forms directly to the client's portal before you notify them separately when their portal is ready. The third option is to apply the content to the project only. This option will not email the content to the client or upload it to their portal. It just adds a copy of the template to the project for you to take action manually. If it's a contract, maybe you'll customize the language. If it's a scheduler, maybe you'll open up the link and book a date and time on the client's behalf without ever sending them the scheduler. Now let's take a closer look at each of the six actions. Send email will send an email to your client. This action is a great choice for a simple email like an auto response that says, thank you for inquiring. When you're setting this action up in a workflow template, you can choose a specific canned email to send from the dropdown. However, you won't be able to attach any content with this send email action. If you want to include something like a proposal or an appointment scheduler, you'll use one of the other actions we're going to cover next. The Send Contract action is used to automatically send the main contract to the client. Inside this workflow action, you can choose the contract template and how the contract should be delivered. Send contract is strictly for sending a contract. If you want to send a subagreement, use the send form action instead. The send form action is for sending your client a subagreement, questionnaire, or proposal. With this action, the form will be loaded into the project right when the workflow is applied, but it won't actually be sent to the client until the workflow reaches that particular action. That means you may have time to edit or customize the form before it's sent if needed. You can choose which Dubsado form template should be used and how the form should be delivered. Just a heads up. An email sent through a workflow can only include a link to one form. Send Appointment Scheduler is for sending an appointment request to your client. You can choose the appropriate template and how the scheduler will be sent. If you send a scheduler through a workflow, you can have future workflow actions that trigger when an appointment is scheduled or around the appointment's start or end time. Just a heads up, 
If you are planning to send a scheduler through a workflow, check the advanced settings on the scheduler template to make sure you have not attached a lead capture form. The settings on the individual scheduler still apply even when you're using the scheduler inside a workflow, and attaching a lead capture form would result in a second project for the same client. Send primary invoice is for sending an email with a link to the current primary invoice. This is a great action to show a client what they currently owe or to use it as a receipt of payment by providing a link to a completed invoice. You can choose the canned email that goes out with the primary invoice here. Don't forget to include a smart field invoice link in the body of the email so there's a place to put the linked button. Just a heads up, the send primary invoice action should not be used as a payment reminder for your client. Payment reminder emails should be set up in your payment plan instead of on a workflow so that they can use payment plan smart fields. The Create Invoice action creates a new invoice from the line items you input. This action is helpful if you want to bill the client for a specific service where everyone gets the same invoice. You can use the Packages drop-down or the new Line Item button to build the invoice details. You can also apply a discount or select a payment schedule if necessary. You may want to automatically send the invoice in an email at the same time it's been created, which you can do by checking the box to send email with invoice. When you turn this on, you can choose a canned email template from the drop-down. Be sure the template includes a smart field invoice link. Just a heads up. If an invoice already exists on the project by the time this workflow action runs, the invoice created by the workflow will not automatically become the primary invoice. Here's a tip. We made an effort to introduce these actions as simply as possible, but there are some stipulations that we didn't cover. If your process is more complex, you may need to do additional reading, watching or testing to find the right actions for your specific situation.